Commander. We can now work to establish contact with local resistance groups operating out of regions around the globe. Once we've collected sufficient intel to make contact, we'll need to scan the target region for the operative signal. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen of the internet, Sam. Welcome back to XCOM 2. Today, first off, I found out what it was that uh, was causing the issues with the sound quality on previous recordings and have hopefully touch wood fixed that. Uh, if not, I apologise profusely. Um, but, on a slightly less important note, but more important in terms of the gameplay you're actually watching, I have just unlocked through research resistance communications. Commander, I'm going to so, I don't have any engineers. Okay, fair enough. I can't excavate any more of that stuff without more engineers, which will take 16 days to excavate. <coughs> For, no, sorry, it'll take 16 days to build my laboratory, and then I'll be able to excavate the next place. So, uh, I'm going to make contact. Good. Got some uh, new rookies, including Boba Fett. Yeah. So that's quite good. Uh, right, so, going to make contact here in New Mexico. Not to be confused with New New Mexico. Once we find them, we'll be up and running in the new region. Commander, using so, make so contact far, with these guys. This will also increase our monthly income their in supplies. Aha! Made a number of and we've unlocked Gorse weapons, Commander. which is good. So now we get sniper rifles and miniguns that use the rail technology. Commander, you should establish contact with the local resistance. Yes, 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 I'm doing it, I'm doing it. The aliens are undoubtedly moving. Or maybe I'm not. Okay, so this is a supply raid. We have an opportunity to salvage some high value materials, assuming we can clear out the alien forces guarding the site first. Sure. So this is a good way to earn alien alloys and Illyrium cores and things like that. Which are all things that we need to improve our weapons and armor research. Uh, yes, you can see here, increase squad size through GTS facility. For that I'd need more engineers so that I can clear out and build inside the ship. So, this is our squad. This is presumably the best squad that we are able to have at this exact minute. E yes. Ooh. Aragon's shaken, isn't he? Yes, Aragon's shaken. That's not great, but hopefully, if we do well in this mission, he will no longer be shaken. That is my uh, my plan. Damn straight. So. What we doing today? Operation Spider Mother. And they've left the gear for us to seize. We expect the aliens are going to move to recover the transport, but it's worth the risk to investigate. We'll need to secure the site, eliminate any hostile resistance, and recover the item. 10-4, good buddy. So, yeah, basically kill all the people, but don't let them destroy the stuff you're after, and also don't destroy the stuff you're after yourself, which is uh, fairly simple, one would hope. So, right, generally the rule is follow the road. That will have the advent convoy on it, which has the stuff we're after on it. Uh, I am, of course, not going to actually stay to the road, because that would be a bad idea. That's affirmative. Uh, right. So we've got a sniper. Not really going to be a hundred percent effective. 
in this particular thing, although he is more of a pistol specialist, isn't he? So, you never know. We'll, uh, we shall do what we can. Okay, I think I'll split my squad up and go for a pincer manoeuvrement. Manoeuvrement? Yes, a pincer manoeuvrement. Um, which is like a pincer manoeuvre, only more. So it's going to be two people left of the road, two people right of the road. That was not good. That was uh, scary, scary nightmares. So let's move up a bit. Up a bit more. Eyes on the prize. Okay. Rolling. Swampy over there. Without the introduction of human DNA, these creatures once operating under the guise of thin men now show their true form. A purely reptilian species. No reason for them to hide. The aliens don't need an infiltration unit anymore. Yeah, they already won the invasion. So, yeah, they're not good. They've got all kinds of special abilities that make it absolutely terrifying uh, to fight against. So, ooh, can't get up behind that tree without being spotted, which is unfortunate. How's about behind that rock? Okay, it says behind that rock is fine. So behind that rock is where I shall go. Viper, that's what they're called. I had the devil's own job trying to remember what they were called. Um, yes, vipers, they are horrific. Uh, let's keep you on overwatch with your sniper rifle. And let's keep moving these guys up at the side. Move you up there, move you up there. Okay, they're moving on. Now, at some point, they're going to stop and come back the other way. So what I don't want to happen is for... We shall call this team over here of Aragorn and Isaac Team Alpha. So I don't want Alpha Team to move up here and then get flanked by these guys as they come back this way. So what I'm going to do is put Aragorn behind this tree, which is where I wanted him in the first place. And I'm going to get Isaac. Hmm, apparently there's no cover at all there, which is odd. Uh, that being the case, I'll get him to move there. Okay, and we'll call this team Bravo Team. Okay. Again, I'm expecting these to move back towards the road uh, in a patrol pattern. So, let's get moving over there. So I want to hang back a little bit. Yep. Okay. As exactly as I thought, they're all moving up. Now, as you can see, these guys have miniguns, so they're probably going to be extremely deadly if we uh, let them get a shot off. Uh, can't go there. Could go there, apparently. See, it says that would be fine. I'm going to attempt it. And it's fine. Cool. Uh... I'd like to stay in high cover, if I can. There we go. Uh-oh. I think he might see our clone. Whew. Only just fine. 
Okay. Let's see what we've got. Uh, Aragorn still can't move or he'll be seen. There's not a great deal Isaac can do without being seen. So we'll keep him still. Uh, let's get Swampy behind that tree. Yeah, let's go overwatch. I want to kind of get Clone Bro there, but let's get him there. Now, how much health? Ooh, eight health on that Viper, so that's not great. As you can see, no time limit on this mission, so that's why I'm taking it steady. Ooh, come on, group up. Group up, you bastards. Ah, they're splitting up. I was hoping they'd group up, because then I could, like, lob one grenade in and then finish them all. What I am going to do... Yeah, look at that. I can apparently walk straight through this truck, which is odd. Uh, I think that's a glitch. Roger that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Let's see, he's not really in the best cover there. Affirmative. Moving out. Move him up there. Put him on overwatch with his pistol. Okay, I'm going to get Swampy to launch a grenade. Primarily because he is the grenadier, so that's kind of his thing. Now what I'm hoping will happen is, I'll take out the floor that that Viper's stood on. And he'll take a little bit of fall damage on top of the grenade damage. So let's see if that's a thing. Nope, no fall damage. God damn it! But, doesn't matter because he's dead. Thank Christ. Right, we do still have three soldier boys over there to deal with. One of whom's a captain. Oh boy. Ah. Okay, Swamp is marked, meaning that the bad guys will be more accurate when firing at him, although he is in high cover, so that should mitigate some of that. It also means that they'll prioritise Swampy as a target, although obviously that doesn't mean that if there is an easier shot they won't go for it. And now he's flanking Aragorn. Yeah, I'd have been surprised if he didn't get him there to be fair. Yep, and he's panicked because he was shaken and now he's been shot. He's done a good job of taking that guy out. Okay, got to be careful with the explosions. Don't want any of the loot getting destroyed. Uh, could move Isaac up there to get the loot. But I think Swampy's probably closer, so I'll leave it. Uh... Go there. Get on Overwatch. Ooh, Swampy can't quite get there. In his one turn. So, I'm going to use up his entire turn to go and grab that loot and get in better cover. An Illyrium Core. Those are invaluable. Uh, move Trooper Boyle up. And... Overwatch. Wow, he's got a hell of a lot of movement on him. Uh, Swampy doesn't appear to be... Oh yes, indeed. Swampy doesn't appear to be marked anymore because I think the Advent Captain that had marked him was taking cover behind this truck which then exploded killing the Advent Captain. That is quite good. 100% chance to hit. Guaranteed kill, allegedly. Uh, I am a bit concerned about him getting close to that fire, though. 
I'll risk it. Good, he's avoided the fire and he's killed the guy. And there's another squad. Oh god. Not the whole sectoid drone combo. That's not good. Especially when Aragorn's only on one health and he's now there by himself against the three of them. 50%'s not good. It's the only shot I've got though. Oh, good hits. Good hits. Five damage. Three left to kill. Confirmed. Let's get Swampy moving up a bit. Can you do anything with a grenade from there? Ooh, you can get him. Alright, that's pretty much a guaranteed kill on that sectoid. Which is something I want, especially because Aragorn is not in the best cover where he is. And he's only on one health. There we go. Sectoid down. Uh, not really anything that Trooper Boyle can do from there, so I'm just going to move him up a bit and get him on Overwatch and hopefully... Ah! Ooh, 46%'s not great. 46% is not great. Can he get a grenade from there? No. Okay, hopefully if the drones move up he should be able to get one of them if I put him on Overwatch. Yes! Brilliant hit. Okay. Enemy eliminated. Oh god. Oh, the fear. Oh! Oh, thank god that was it. That was all he did. And killed. Hostiles pacified. Status confirmed. All hostiles are <gasps> the area is secure. That was the luckiest thing Status in confirmed. the world. Mission accomplished. Successful mission. That's how we like it. <sighs> I thought for sure that Aragorn was going to die there. Absolute sure. But he didn't. He managed to kill the thing because it used all of its movement just getting up to him. Ah. Oh. Thank you, Jesus. So, that went better than expected. We, we've run a bit of a roll, I think, if I remember from uh, editing the last few episodes. We're on a bit of a roll. We're on a bit of a winning streak. Which is good. 